Welcome back to the Build Series. This is episode number 93. So in the last episode, did some coal mining, brought a bunch of the toys up to the mine, mined up a bunch of coal. And so I have it all on the bench now. Spare you guys all getting it back here. And so let's go ahead and look at the map. If we look here, we're at bike cakes, and we have uh, 3,311 units of coal. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and head down via train. We'll take the train all the way down. And I want to go down to Empire Industries, which is here. And we're going to put that into Empire Industries Metal Ore Foundry. So here's my coal side dump car. And so this is my workaround, let's put it that way, for the issues that we're having with Industrial Frontier, or that I'm having with Industrial Frontier. I'll speak for myself. So one of the issues is at Empire. I've talked about this before. The place that you need to dump is illogically placed very far from the tracks. It is 14 blocks from the center of the car to where the hopper is to be able to dump all of your ore. I don't know why they did it that way, but they did it that way. So instead of complaining about it, I made a cart here. And so this will hold coal or other minerals. And it has this tube underneath. This tube will go out and it will allow it to dump into the hopper. And so this will allow me to kind of fix some of the issues. All right, so Loco is in. Let's go ahead and fire it up. We'll move forward. I put a handle on here, so hopefully we can grab the handle if in, the need, if in the event we need it. English language me speak. Uh, it's not working really well. For some reason I'm having a little bit of lag issue. It's not the game. The game is running at normal logic and everything. It's um, something like res uh, monitor, monitor resolution. Alright, so we're going to move this out. Then I'm going to spawn two of the coal cars. I might do them independently. Spawn them one on top of the other instead of moving them. Alright, and I'll go ahead and zero that out. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab those. So I need to fill those all the way up. So I am just going to... I'm going to have to drag them all full, which is not the end of the world. Uh, is that the latest one? I don't think it is here. I think I named it Mineral. There's a Mineral Side Dump Car. I named it Mineral because it's not just coal. So I can fill in coal from the inventory here. So I'm just going to do that. It's going to take me a second. So I'll fill all, drag all those up and we'll be full. All right. So this is filled up here. I'm actually, I think I'm going to save one really quick. Just, uh, just in case. That's, uh, we'll do it. Coal. Side dump. Full. That way I can just spawn an extra one if I need it. So uh, this one's going to spawn. We'll hook it up to the loco. And so we'll just take two of these. That should take the majority of the capacity. Let's try again. There we go. And we'll add one more on, and then we're ready to go. So this is going to get us where we can, at my leisure, go ahead and do some coal. Or go do some uh, steel. You know, this will be an empire, so when I put the iron ingots in there, it will convert it out to steel. So let's uh, launch another one of these. So, you know, I'd like them to fix Industrial Frontier. Whether or not they'll do that is... You know, who knows, but uh, it would be nice. All right, so back this one in, and we should be good to go. And so this is nice. I can see over these and kind of see behind me. So this is a reasonable workaround, I think. I still need to make, uh, what I'm going to do is kind of like a little transfer truck. And so what it will do is it will work with these, and these will dump, and the truck will pick it up. Because still at Screech's train yard, they made it where you cannot dump from a train, so you have to transfer to a truck to get it in there. So you do that, or front and loader. 
Okay, here we go. Could put the front end loader, uh, make the front end loader so it can go on the tracks. There are some front end loaders IRL that can go on the tracks, and then I could actually drive it down there. All right, so here we go. And we're going to head down to Empire, dump this, and I think that'll be pretty good. So I will go ahead and time lapse this out, and I will see you guys when we get there.
right, so here we are. We're coming up on Empire right now. So it uh, took a while to get down here. You know, about an hour and change. But, um, you know, it was an enjoyable ride. Just kind of, you know, that's the nice thing with trains. They have to interact very little. I was just watching videos the whole time. And so we're going to test out the carts. So it was nice to get the coal down here. That will, uh, you know, hopefully allow me to get it into Empire. And I can then, uh, when I feel like it, do some iron and uh, put the coal in there. So the coal can stay in there. I can still put, you know, say aluminum in there and still run it, no problem. And then uh, when I put some iron ingots in there, you know, if I just want to sell the iron, I can still get the iron out and sell the ingots, or I can put the ingots back in and get steel. So it's, um, you know, can just kind of sit in there and wait for us. And so it's better to have it down here than to have it up at uh, Spy Cakes. So Let's go ahead and we'll get ready for arrival. So we have one more switch here, I think, and I think it's all set up to go to the right. And so we want to go to the right here of the facility, and the whole reason I had to build a special car was, again, they put this dump area right there, way over to the right, 14 blocks from the center of the rails, instead of putting it right under or right next to it. Even if they put it right next to it, it could have done a side dump coal trailer which exists but instead we have to do a uh, very strange uh, method to do this so we're going to go right in and I'll start slowing us down a little bit we don't have to slow down a ton but we'll slow down a little bit here we've been going about uh, just under 70 miles the whole way so I'll back this up to about 15 meters per second But this will get us moving on some of this metal stuff. And it'll also free me up if I want to do something else I can. I was considering leaving this down here. I don't think this whole rig costs all that much. I don't think it'll use up all that much resources. So I could leave it down here. And uh, that way when we do something else, I can just bring it up there. But I might just bring it back. It's not that long of a run. Alright. And so... Right there, as you can see, is where it is. So we're going to bring up the first coal car. And then once the first coal car is adjacent to the dump spot, we will dump. So this is one of the nice things with having a set speed system like this. It makes it so that I can really, you know, run around and keep it going the speed I want. So we're going to crank this way down. Do like, oh, I don't know, one meter a second. As you can see, and then I'll be ready because, again, part of the design issue is you see all these pillars. I have to put the uh, the funnel between the pillars. So, again, very weird that they did it this way. I wish they would fix it. You know, we know that the rails are a certain width wide. This brown area, if they put it in there, we could do side dump coal. That's fine. You know, I would I would prefer bottom dumps, you know. Put a bottom dump at the facility here. It's the way to do it. I don't know why they didn't do it, you know. That would be the way to do it, but they didn't. So, again, I have to come up with some engineering solutions for some of these problems. But as you can see, the set speed system is great because I just set, set what I want. As you can see, we're just crawling in the facility. I can kind of monitor. We'll just speed up just a hair. And I can see pretty well back there, so I'll try to line it up the best I can. And if it's not perfect, I will just move the train. All right, so I'll go check the alignment, see how we're looking there. I think, ooh, we're perfect. That's perfect, dude. Look at that. Beauteous. I think we could probably go up just a hair. No, actually, we're good. The pivot point's there. So, yeah, so this is the way this works is I have to do it from the other side. Which isn't the best, but it's all right. And so I'm gonna up, move the duct this way. Okay, is this broken now? Oh, please don't be broken. 
That will really annoy me if this is broken. There we go. Okay. It's it's on a, it has a PID control in it, so it's just a little slow. There we go. Okay. So I think we're good here. So as you can see, this per long protuberance goes in there. Let's take a pick. So this is my solution for them building an irrational facility. So, so that's kind of what, what I have to do in order to operate with the way they've done this for me. Is have this pecker hanging out the side here to be able to <laughs> dump my coal. So. All right, as you can see, it's empty during the facility here. You can see the hopper is reading out. So the coal is going in the facility. You'll see, you notice it's making the drops there because that's the funnel that drops it in here, so that's fine. But it is going in, so I'll uh, empty this out. It'll take me a while, of course. So I think, uh, let's see, we're out of here. All right, so I'm going to uh, just, uh, I'll get back with you guys when these are empty. All right, so uh, both cars are empty. So all that coal from Spy Cakes is now into Empire Industries Metal Ore Foundry. And whenever I feel like doing some steel... We can just bring the iron down here and uh, do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Mostly a time lapse, but it took me, oh, an hour and 18 minutes to do everything. So I think we'll call it there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.